CSP, we, we have very few uh, therapies. Actually, we don't even have good symptomatic therapies. At least for Parkinson's disease, we have, you know, we've had L-DOPA for many decades now. We have dopamine agonists. They help for some period of time, but then patients uh, have, end up with uh, uh, side effects due to these medicines and, and are having trouble maintaining on time without getting dyskinesias, as you point out. And often these patients are turning to surgery, so it's pretty tragic. And, uh, and we'd love to find a disease-modifying therapy for Parkinson's. That's why we're studying the alpha synuclein antibody. But yeah, we're playing catch-up in general in neurology. I mean, you know, I, it's my specialty. I'm a neurologist, but uh, you know, particularly when I was in training, we had very few disease-modifying therapies. In MS, though, we've turned that around. I mean, in MS, we have. When I was in training, we had no disease-modifying therapies, but now we have more than a dozen. So it can be done. And uh, Biogen was part of that MS revolution, if you will. We'd like. To, We'd like to also uh, create or be part of a revolution for all these neurodegenerative diseases I, I, I just talked about. Well, I think there's multiple interesting targets for Parkinson's disease, um, and we're looking at several ourselves, but other companies are too. Um, m much of it does center around alpha synuclein, but there's also LURK2, which is one of the major uh, disease genes that increase the risk of um, Parkinson's disease. It's a kinase, so people are trying to figure out if they can affect the kinase activity. There's also G case. Um, uh, as you know, patients who uh, uh, have G case uh, mutations uh, also have an increased risk of Parkinson's disease. These are people who have who are heterozygotes at the, for the disease gene that causes Gaucher's disease. Uh, and there's been some linkage between that enzyme um, and, and uh, alpha synuclein as well. So there are other targets, but um, yeah, I mean, alpha synuclein is clearly one of the important ones. Uh, we know that if you have um, too many copies of the alpha synuclein gene, you're at increased risk of uh, Parkinson's disease. We also know that if you have single nucleotide polymorphisms, of certain types, you can actually increase the risk of Parkinson's disease. So I think it's a well genetically validated target. And also when you look in the brains of Parkinson's patients, you see uh, the hallmark is uh, Lewy bodies. And the major constituent of Lewy bodies is alpha-synuclein, aggregated misfolded alpha-synuclein. So the pathological basis is certainly there for believing that alpha-synuclein is, is is harmful to the brain and also the genetic studies also point to it. So we, we like the target.